I mean, ain't this why we do it? To put on for our city, the place we love to hate. P H I double L Y F J D J damage. We always put on. Everything we do, we do it from a muscle. Gas gang, ocean gang, young fly hoodlums. Miss a loud pack, I salute you. Uh, sneaks on the wire, fiends with no teeth, and niggas popping downers just to get higher. Ratchets on a tire, up a tennis squatter. Fuck the code, we still pitching polo bombers. Kill niggas dead, put their mom through the trauma. Code of honor amongst trappers. Some take money, we call it snatching. Me, I just get it, keep stacking. Break work and fraction. Watch the middlemen, cause they taxing. Cut shady friends, keep going, don't look backwards. Always pray when you down so you don't give up. Stay loyal to your crew so you don't switch up. Stay on the corner to the flow pick up. Cops rust mouth shut, work stuck by the nuts. Cook out, L's lit, gun sights a rock in the red cup. In the hood, that's what's up. Election time coming, you know what that means. Gels try to text on the white and the green. That's why I'm in the studio, dropping 16. Flow futuristic, should buy a time machine. I'm trying to make it slide through where I came from. Like I made it, slam dunk and won. Snitch rats, man, I can't stand them. Same when the shoot, then the tell when the man comes. Hard times make your dreams get trampled. Where's body found, teddy bears and candles. Street top, summertime in a flannel. News fucked up, tell my nigga change the channel. Change it, bro. This is too much to handle. Too much to handle. This is too much to handle. Too much to handle. Too much to handle. Hey, yo, this Philly life. Y'all don't really understand that we going through a whole bunch of shit out here. But like, even though everybody going through poverty, yeah, it's easy going through poverty and you ain't got nothing every day. My child could be hit by a stray or some crazy shit like that. This Philly, man. The murder cap. Y'all know what's going on, man. See him too. Let's go. Go, go, go. R.I.P. to my nigga Sino, Kaim. My nigga Lito. Free that nigga Don P. Free shoe, free car call, free bullet head. Free my nigga CZ. See him too. DJ Damage. DJ Damage. DJ Damage. I mean, ain't this why we... Ah, right, young world. I already know. Okay, okay, y'all in the building. Okay. I got to start sending them, 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 them texts out more. Shout out to everybody who's in the building. Um... I really appreciate y'all coming through, showing mad love. All right, y'all. Y'all already know tonight. Tonight topic. We on. Um, if I shine, we all shine. And then I want to get into these uh, school bus shootings, and then. Uh, me personally, I want to talk about how I feel as though the music game is uh is boring in my opinion. I don't know about y'all, but in my opinion, it's boring. Alright. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Um uh, make sure y'all share. Make sure y'all drop a comment. If you want to be a guest or if you will like to join the chat, you should already know what to do by now, man. Right? You already know. Tap this link right here over in the comments. On Facebook, on Instagram. Or rather, if you're on Twitter, just go to the comment and you'll see that link right there that's uh, pinned on the screen. And if you tap on that uh, link, I'll be able to add you on to the show. All right. And that's how that goes. All right. So. 
So let's get back to, you know, like I was saying, man, check it out, man. I got this cousin, right? I want to tell you all this story, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he know I'm about to grind his ass the fuck up. I'm about to grind a couple of y'all motherfuckers up. What the fuck is pop? You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. I'm in my bag. Now, I'm just the type of guy, man. You know what I mean? I do into others how I would want done to me. You know what I mean? Um, I respect people how I would want to be respected. You know what I mean? That go for male, female, kid, or child. I give us all respect. All right. You know what I hate, man? I hate when somebody play with my intelligence, man. You know, I'm very, very, very smart. And then especially when you know I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? Like a family member or somebody, gang. You know how you know when they want something? And it's like, they doing all this extraterrestrial shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, like, trying to make you laugh and all that. Like, I ain't with all that, gang. You know what I'm saying? It's like, get to the point, because now I'm about not ready to give you whatever it is that you want. That's me personally, because now you don't piss me off. Because me, I ain't with all that. Like, me personally, like, when I want something, <laughs> I call a motherfucker up. I ain't got no problem with asking. My mom and my grandma always taught me, you have not because you ask not, man. Check it out, though, man. Free my cousin DH, man. I talked to my cousin three times today, man. That shit was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'll be home soon. Chance will be home soon, too. And at the end of the day, motherfuckers, know who they got to, you know what I'm saying? talk to, get shit done. That's another thing, man. And cousin, my cousin who already know how I'm going to move for him, because I know he'll move for me. You understand what I'm saying? These other suckers, man, y'all niggas know what I'm talking about. Damn shame, man. Like that shit would have been a whore, though. Motherfuckers would have been hard last to it. You feel me? Uh, you know, it is what it is, man. You can't, you can't change people. People going to be who they are. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be who you are. I'm going to be who I'm uh, I am. So, you know, I'm damn sure a young B, and I love it. I love very bit of it, you know. You should love very bit of yourself as well. As long as you ain't no pedophile or you ain't no damn rapist without here taking a pussy and all that. You ain't got to do that sucker ass niggas. I hate a sucker nigga who can't even talk talk a chick right out of her panties. You got to talk, you got to take that shit. You feel me? Now. Y'all see the title, man. If I shine, you shine. You feel me? This shit is plain and simple. If I shine, you shine. Man. That 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 was one of the that was one of the uh that was one of the commandments. That was one of the codes I grew up on. When it came to team and all that, when it came to a team, I'm trying to tell one of my youngest today, man, 
two different time zones. He think because this generation shoot up shit that that make them gangster. Like, that shit don't make y'all gangster. It's when y'all be getting in them jails, y'all niggas be cold pussy. That's why I'm trying to tell you. You know. Hey, these young boys, these these this generation, <clears throat> they just wanna be known as killers. And all they gonna do is get their ass killed. That's all. You know? And that's all that's happening to them. They don't even dig. They don't even see it though. You know? Let's check out uh, a lot of a lot of bus shootings been going on like crazy lately. Have y'all been um paying that any type of attention? A lot of bus shootings and you know what I mean, sorts and all that type of things that been going on, man. Very ugly, man. Very ugly. I want y'all to check out this uh this bus shooting right here, man. We're gonna check this joint out right here on live from the fall. And I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Check this out. Terrifying shootout on a bus in Charlotte, North Carolina. A bus driver and a passenger exchanging gunfire after that passenger asked to get off the bus between stops. Two other riders caught in the crossfire, ducking for cover. And a warning tonight, this video is disturbing. Here's ABC's Jay O'Brien. Hey. Newly released surveillance video showing the harrowing oh, moments that, yeah. inside a Charlotte Run bus. That yeah, released that. Run surveillance that. video showing the harrowing fire ducking for cover. And a warning tonight, this video is disturbing. Here's ABC's Jay O'Brien. Did they fire that the guy that they close range, close range. Tonight, newly released surveillance video showing the harrowing moments he in that that shit. Charlotte bus. Bang! A shootout between a driver and a passenger with other passengers. He let that the shit. Fire. Bang! Transit officials uh, say last uh, week, 22 uh, year old boy. Omari Tobias began arguing with driver David Fuller after Bro. asking to get off between stops. Tobias then pulling out a gun. Fuller then pulling out his own gun. Hey, Zay. Hey Zay, this is Zay, this 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 is this is generation. I want him to know this. This dude. This this dude generation guy. It's this dude generation. He need to know that. Hold on. This dude generation. You know? This dude generation, terrible. And he need to know that. Hold on. Yeah. 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 I hope he. I hope he tune in, man. I hope you tune in, man. Real rap, big head nigga. Sturdy boy. This is your generation. Let me run this back real quick. In Charlotte, North Carolina, a run bus driver and a passenger exchanging gunfire after that passenger asked to get off the bus between stops. Two other riders caught in the crossfire ducking for cover. And a warning tonight, this video is disturbing. Here's ABC's Jay O'Brien. Tonight, newly released surveillance video showing the harrowing moments inside a Charlotte bus. A shootout between a driver and a passenger with other passengers caught in the crossfire. 
Transit officials say last week, 22-year-old Omari Tobias began arguing with driver David Fuller after asking to get off between stops. <laughs> Tobias then pulling out a gun. Fuller then pulling out his own gun, and the shootout begins. Bullets shattering the plexiglass window of the driver's cab. Two other passengers ducking for cover. The driver wounded in the arm, Tobias shot in the abdomen. Fuller continuing to shoot at Tobias after he crawls away and runs off the bus. Both are recovering from their injuries. And tonight, that driver off the job. We don't want anyone possessing weapons on our vehicles. The transit system saying he didn't properly de-escalate the situation and was not allowed to bring a gun to work. The driver's attorney saying his client feared for his safety. I hear it from a lot of my clients. What they want to do is, is do their job, but they also want to get home. Wit, as of tonight, the bus driver hasn't been charged with any crime. That passenger, Omari Tobias, remains in jail, facing charges including assault with a deadly weapon. And the Charlotte Public Transit System telling me tonight he's also currently banned from public transit. Wit. Jay O'Brien with that disturbing video. Thank you. So, now, I'm going to tell y'all what I get out of that. I get that um, a lot of transit bus drivers are going to see that video and say, listen, if that guy didn't have that gun, it's a possible chance. He might have not been here today, right? Right. Now, a lot of transit workers are going to start trying to uh, fight the evil. Uh, you know, be able to bring their gun to work. And, you know, some going through it any old way. And you can't really blame them because there are... There are entirely too many shootings in public. Everybody should be allowed to carry a gun. That's, I mean, they're going to do it regardless. You know, they're going to. As a man, you should be able to protect yourself. My OG always, always taught me that, man. Every man got a right to bear arm. And if you can't protect your family or yourself or your lady or whatever, your family, your mother, your cousin, your brother, you're not no man, you know? Yeah, this government got a real tricky way of playing mind games with y'all, man. Let's take another look at a, uh, another incident that happened. Another incident that happened on um, public transportation. But these last videos I'm going to show y'all, these are all in my city, Philadelphia. A.K.A. Drilladelphia. Let's go. Police just released this surveillance video today from another violent encounter involving a SEPTA bus. The video shows a group of teenagers moments before they boarded the Route 33 bus at the 20th and Diamond Street stops on May 17th in North Philadelphia. Police say the group then began attacking passengers on board. One of the teens hit a passenger with a gun, causing it to go off. Two 18-year-old men were hit in the leg. The group then exited the bus and ran away. Investigators say the shooting suspect is between 14 and 17 years old. Anyone with information, please contact police. See that? 14. 14. They getting on the, 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 the bus strolling people, you know, I seen them do it with my own eyes, 
Yeah. I also seen that guy got smacked on five dudes too. What you going to do? You got to buy your business, man. You know? Fuck you want to do? Play Batman out here? Cops barely uh, pulling up on guys like that, man. Because they know these, most of these young guys got, you know, they got, you know, they, they, they you know, the average one got glocks, chin. Gen 9, 10, you know, shit like that. Everybody got a switch. Now we talking rounds. Cops not fucking around, man. They let them up. They come in, they come in after everything is over. Pay attention. They, pay, they come after the crime is done, man. They like they 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 more like the goddamn coroners now. You know how the coroners, you know, come and get the damn body. That's how the cops say. Pay attention. And they come when everything done, gang. All this shit is, is I keep telling y'all over and over. They letting people purge, man. They letting y'all finish off with COVID. They didn't finish off, man. Let's take another look at another incident on Philadelphia public transportation. Young man who was shot during an argument on a SEPTA bus has died. The shooting happened while the bus was on Germantown Avenue near the Brighthurst Street in the city's Germantown section just before 11 last night and put the driver in danger. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at police headquarters with how the argument turned deadly. Catherine. Matt, this bus was on its route in Germantown when someone on board opened fire. Action News spoke with a passenger who was sitting right there. I was on the bus sitting there listening to my music singing and I know the lady, she came next to me and she said something and then she kept on trying to push me down and I'm looking and then I just seen the dude shoot, stand up and start shooting the other dude. Eight passengers were on the bus last night when this happened. You could see the bullet hole in the glass partition near the driver. The SEPTA bus had been going north on the 5200 block of Germantown Avenue when a fight escalated to a deadly shooting shortly before 11 o'clock last night. Interior surveillance cameras captured the whole thing. The shooter, who was wearing a mask, and the victim were sitting across from each other near the front of the bus. There was a physical altercation, then two shots were fired. Arriving officers found the victim lying in the aisle, unresponsive and bleeding. He was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead. Police don't know the identity of the victim. They said he appeared to be in his mid to late teens or possibly his early 20s. Police found two spent shell casings on the floor of the bus. They said a bullet narrowly missed the 52 year old SEPTA driver who told police she ducked and opened the bus doors when she heard the gunfire. There are many, many shards of glass on the driver's seat, but the bullet clearly went through the glass partition about head level where this 52-year-old bus driver was sitting. How she wasn't struck by gunfire, it's unknown, but she's extremely, extremely lucky. The shooter ran off the bus and fled. Anyone with any tips is asked to call police. We're live at police headquarters. Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. It's another joint in my city on the douche track. Okay? This one, I'm about to show y'all. I was impressed. Let's take a look. L train. Deadly encounter on the Market Street L. A teenager is killed after being shot. Now the search is on for the person responsible. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is the shooting death of a 14-year-old boy. Authorities be believe they may know what happened that ended in deadly gunfire. Action News reporter Bob Brooks live outside police headquarters with details tonight. Bob. 
Well, Walter, sources tell us this began as some kind of altercation on the train as it was moving. We had the teen victim and an adult male. Well, things got physical, and the adult male, he pulled a gun. This SEPTA platform at 52nd and Market Streets today, it was turned into the scene of yet another fatal shooting of a Philadelphia teen. Police say the victim is a 14-year-old male. The suspect is an adult male, now on the run. Sources tell Action News after review of surveillance video, an altercation between the two began on the train. Then it turned physical with the teen hitting the man. Well, next, the suspect would pull a gun and fired at least two shots, fatally wounding the teen while on the platform. Immediately afterwards, the suspect ran away. Well, sources also confirmed the suspect likely tried to hide evidence. Burned clothing was found behind a laundromat near the scene shortly after the investigation began. For neighbors like Walter Briggs, it's frustrating to hear about yet another fatal shooting in the city involving teens, especially at such a busy intersection. However, he doesn't see an end to the violence with the way things are going. Too much negativism on TV, these video games, this uh, false rap. I mean, this deteriorates. They common sense. And today we need common sense. Briggs adds he feels as if it's only a matter of time until no, something no like this bullshit, is taken, OG. unless a major shift no in mindset is taken by everyone in the city. It takes a man to raise a child and a village to raise a group of children. So we all need to come together, black, white, Spanish, and act as a group and see whether or not we can all come together and stop this violence here in Philadelphia. Okay, Walter, and now the manhunt is on for that suspect. Philadelphia police say, if anyone out there knows. They ain't fine, young boy, yet. All they found was some clothes that he was wearing burnt behind the laundry mat five minutes after he clapped the young boy on the train. Now. Nobody deserves to deserve to lose their life. But I be trying to tell these young boys too, man. These young boys I'm trying to tell y'all. They be going around in these subways fucking around with people, man. I had a group, I had a talk with some of them one night. I was coming home and I was using the uh, train and I was trying to talk to some of them. But they look the youngest shit. They look just so young. Man. I'm trying to tell you, I'm talking about like, they like 14, 15, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm thinking it's like 12, 30 at night. I'm thinking to myself like, damn, why they not in the house? Like, cause I know school's still in. They look like nobody don't really care about them. They don't, you know what I mean? It's a bunch of them. The girls get to fighting. They almost fall on the tracks. But that same group of kids that I was trying to talk to was the same group of kids that guy was from that got shot. You know? But see, it was too many of them. And, and the boy probably thought they was going strolling or something. You feel me? So, you got to be careful, man. You got to. You know, let me ask y'all a question, man. Do y'all think, um, do y'all think parents should be punished for their kids, um, crimes in action, man? Get in the comments, man. Let me know y'all opinion on that. Do y'all think parents should be, uh, penalized or, you know, uh, be charged with any crime because of their kids. I'm going to let y'all know my opinion straight up from the door. Hell no. Hell no. These kids get a certain age, they got mine of their own. And you got to think, now the government be telling y'all kids are not grown until they uh 18. But that's the government trying to hold motherfuckers back. Now you gotta think. Some kids can have a 
kid at what, 14, 13, 12? If you could produce a child at that age, at about, you basically grown. Believe it or not, you basically grown. If you can produce a child, you can produce a child, you grown. In my opinion, you might not be grown far as like knowing everything, and you might not be uh, fully grown, but you like a young. You know what I mean? You're young. You're you young adult. Let's put it like that. And you have a mind of your own. Let's put it like that. I ain't gonna say you're grown. Cause you ain't grown yet. You still have ways to grow and mature a whole lot when you're at that young age. But yes, you do have a mind of your own. I do believe like. Um, it's people that raise their kids, man. Give them everything and um, raise them the, the right way. And they still go off and shoot up the schools and all that. So, you know. I mean, come on, man. Excuse me. Like, straight up, though, man. I don't, I don't think, like, I don't think, like, parents should be uh, held accountable for uh, their kids. I mean, now, it, uh, it, a kid, uh, t- I'm going to say 10 and under, hell yeah. 10 and under. 10 and under, yeah. You held accountable. Um, I'm going to agree with you. Uh, Pry anything above that. Once, once them, once them little kids hit about twelve, they different now. They real different now. Where I'm, they kill you. Like when I was coming up, a twelve year old wasn't thinking about murdering nobody. We was thinking about going to the, you know, gallery, getting females, getting fresh, you know, things like that. That's what we was on, you know what I mean? Getting money, getting jewelry, you know, just stuff like that. These kids, they thinking about murder, gang. They thinking about murder. They different. Yo, remember, please like like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. You already know it's your boy, Fall Boy V. Then I tell y'all it's going to be consistent. Huh? Oh, I'm about to start dropping the bombs for y'all. I know what y'all wait. I know what y'all wait. I know what y'all wait. <laughs> I'll wait for that boy to get ugly. Let's take a look at this last video, though, man. Don't worry, that's coming. The big story on Action News this noon is yet another instance of gun violence on a SEPTA platform in the heart of Philadelphia. In this case, a 19-year-old was shot and injured. Now, SEPTA police just released these surveillance images of the suspect. The gunman is still on the loose. Police say the victim was shot one time and rushed to the hospital. The shooting happened last night on the Market Frankfurt westbound platform right near City Hall. Action News reporter Corey Davis has the latest on the investigation now from Center City. Today, SEPTA passengers filing off of the busy Market Frankfurt line and out of the station at 15th and Market across from City Hall. The westbound platform is where investigators believe this person seen in these surveillance photos shot a 19 year old just after 1130 last night. There is a, a bit of anxiety that you feel um, every day when you go in the SEPTA, but um, you know, for the most part, even taking it five days a week, I haven't really experienced much. Uh, but when you do see these kinds of things in the news, um, it's, it's a bit worrisome. It's like horrible. I don't feel comfortable on the L, so I catch the bus. And sometimes it's, it's issues on the bus, too. So, but I have to get to work, you know, so. Last week, a 15-year-old Roxborough High School student was shot and killed during a fight on the Route 23 bus in the city's Germantown section. 
Police are also still looking for the shooter in that case. So far this year, there have been at least nine shooting incidents on SEPTA. Nobody deserves to have that kind of like safety constraint riding public transportation every morning. I mean, that's just something I don't want to have to think about. And yet we all do in like the back of our head that it could possibly happen. We do know that SEPTA utilizes the thousands of surveillance cameras across the system. And in this case, they will be using that as they do with other cases to track those who are responsible for committing crimes. Reporting here in Center City, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. How many, how many, how many Jones was that that I showed draw like four, five, huh? It's an ugly world, man. That's why I, I, I make my home very comfortable, man. So I rarely have to even go outside. It's an ugly world. And I know me. I ain't going no I ain't going nowhere without that daddy. Cause I already know how the world playing. You know? You gotta be able to make it back home. To 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 your family. To your wife. To your kids. No, my officers, they carry their shit everywhere they go, right? I suggest you do the same. I suggest you do the same. These young mob, they put away your brain. These little cats, man. A different, you know, but with that, with that older guy was saying, man, that's where we lost a lot of value at, though. You know, it does take a a, a village to raise a child. But you know, a lot of parents, you know, they they they, they stop allowing the village to raise their kids. They start, uh, don't tell my kid what to do. Don't put your hands on my kid. Yada yada yada. Don't do this to my kid. Don't do that. You know, when motherfuckers try and teach they they kid right from wrong, when they not around, and they don't want you to chastise their kid, and now a village can't raise the kid because. Y'all going against the rules, you know what I'm saying? So now when your kid acting out and generations, motherfuckers just acting out, they just getting wilder and wilder. And now people like scared of them and shit. Like, but not me. I park the shit out your child. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Your child come acting all crazy and that motherfucker got a, a, a strap. I'm going to park his little ass. You know what I'm saying? I will stop this motion. You know what I'm saying? He want to be gangster and all that. Grand Theft Auto. Still in motherfucker's car. I come outside. He's still in my car. I'm going to drop his ass right there. Right near my car, gang. Just tell him. You know? I advise y'all to do the same. You know what I mean? Tell him my son, man. I got a son. My son, 24. You know what I'm saying? I went through it with my son plenty of times, gang. Plenty of times. You know what I mean? The fuck? Y'all think this shit a gang? Like, I ain't no kid, man. Like, motherfucker really been out here in a lot of shit, man. I really survived this shit. You know? I'm blessed, though. I'm blessed. You know? But, um, yeah, my son, 24 years old, man. Little motherfucking monster, though, man. Motherfucker was... Listen, let me tell you, man. I love my I love my boy. That's my first, man. I put a picture up with my son, man. Right? Instagram. No cat. I must be got about, like, 7 DMs. 
motherfuckers like, that's your son? Yeah. Like, yeah, why motherfuckers telling me shit? Call me. Call me now. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. You know, niggas telling me my son, you know what I mean? Robbed them, shit like that. Or ran up the name, man, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like crazy shit. And I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? So, you know. You know, come find out, man. Yeah, he, he really with all this shit, man. Then he start going around my best friend. I tell my best friend at the time. Why is he around? He'll never be around us. You know, I'm, I'm instantly like, son ain't right. You feel me? This nigga high from son. So I'm telling him, you know, my best friend at the time, like, yo, you know, I don't want my son around, you know, uh, your girl kids, because I don't want no harm to come, you know, to y'all credit or somebody else. Oh man, you know what I mean? He cool, he cool, he cool. And next thing I know, her 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 niece calling my phone up, telling me come get your son. He waving a gun at me. I come over there. I come over there. I get on his ass. He high as shit. I wind up getting into an argument with my best friend. And his girl, they put me out the crib. Right? Shit crazy, right? Put me out the crib. A couple days later, my homie girl called my phone crying. Now they done shot my young boy in the head. And in the neck. Shot my son in a leg, I think, like twice or some shit. My son is on Instagram taunting his Mind you, he in front of my homie crib, so they see my homie address. So niggas come to my homie crib, spray that joint. Yeah. I like, shit was crazy, man. Shit was crazy, man. I've been, I've been, I've been caught up in a lot of wars, man. You know, wars where I had to walk away because I love both sides, man. You know, and I never pick a side. I'm a grown man. Ain't nobody gonna make me pick nothing. Ain't nobody gonna make me do nothing that I don't want to deny in Jesus Christ. So I, I be damned if I, I, I let man. See what I'm saying? But motherfuckers ain't never, you know what I'm saying, question my loyalty or nothing. Motherfuckers, no, I used to go, 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 go do on both sides. On a lot of wolves. On a lot of wolves. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, yeah, man. You know, Philly became a straight up war zone, man. Every neighborhood, I remember, I remember Uptown, Uptown used to be a good neighborhood, man, like Mount Airy and all that shit, man. You can get your shit splat up Mount Airy now, gang, gang. You get your shit splat, gang. Fast up Mount Airy. That shit was like unheard of when I was a kid, gang. That shit was really black suburban. You feel me? Today? Nah, man. I think the only peaceful park is Chestnut Hill. 
And I don't even think Chestnut Hill considered itself Philadelphia. You feel it, dig me? Niggas be knowing where to uh, play around with that bullshit, too, though. You notice that, though, yo? Niggas don't be fucking around in, like, neighborhoods like Chestnut Hill, gang, gang. You rob a boutique up there, you might get 70 years. No bullshit. Pfft, fuck around, get a 70 ball for robbing a boutique on your first offense. Niggas, yo, I don't be hearing about no drama in Chestnut Hill. That's where I want, I need, that's where I need a crib at in Chestnut Hill. Chestnut Hill is fucking dope on a like a, a nice back block in Chestnut Hill. A, a big ass crib. You know what I mean? I used to work up there. They got a lot of big cribs in the cut too. You feel me? Yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out to all the motherfuckers that live in Chestnut Hill getting money though. You know what I mean? Yo, what's up, man? Shout out to everybody on the live tonight, man. Tap in with me, man. Who going? Who, who, who coming up? Who coming on, man. Tap in, man. What y'all afraid of, man? What y'all need me post the link for y'all. Hmm? Tap that link right there, man. Don't get scared. Hit that like button as well while y'all in that room, man. Stop playing. Show your boy love. Hit the share button. Share this to your Facebook. Share this to your Twitter, man. We ain't done yet, man. It's still early. It's 1044. It's, 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 it's 1044. I ain't even score. Turn up, man. Get your weed. Get your alcohol. Because yes, 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 yes. We got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. And I need y'all to stop pussyfooting around, man. Stop being afraid to come up here, man. What y'all, what y'all scared to face? <laughs> face Bigger Bell? I'm the coolest motherfucker, man. Y'all ain't got to be afraid of me, man. Y'all can tap in with me, man. I'm the motherfucking coolest motherfucker, man. And this is our motherfucking show, man. Live from the motherfucking vault. You already know. I'm just the host, you know what I'm saying? I'm just the host, you know what I mean? That's all. You already know, you know what I'm saying? But shit, any given day. If y'all want to give me a day off, y'all could come up and host. I'd be gladly to let your, one of y'all host the motherfucking show. Mm-hmm. You'll get paid, too. you get paid, too. Never know where it'll take you, man. you never know. Never be afraid. Never be afraid. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm. That, 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 that that's what. That's what I'm gonna tell y'all. Straight up. And I say, you know what, man? I should have had my video on here, man, for y'all, man. I should have had slime life, man. I think that's gonna be. That's gonna be my new intro. That's gonna be my new intro. I gotta think of an intro, man, for Vault Talk and for uh, Live from the Vault, man. I need an intro, man. What y'all think, man? I need a motherfucking intro. What we doing, y'all? What we talking about? Shout out to the, shout out to, um, Shout out to my little cousin, man. She just graduated from Penn State 
Lord Jazz. Shout out to you, little Cuzzo. I love you. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Shout out to all the, the, the kids that that's graduating. Stay, stay focused in school. Stay away from sucker-ass people. Stay away from jealousy-ass people. Envious-ass people. And people that just want to get fucking high all day. You stay away from those type of people. And you're going to be okay, young world. Straight up. No kissing. I don't judge what nobody do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see me smoking on this joint. You feel a dig me? I smoke. You know? I smoke a whole lot. But guess what? Guess what? I don't play around when it comes to that work, baby. I don't play no games, you hear me? The boy be on go. You know? I love it. I love the work. And I'm doing all types of work all day and night. Making clothes. Then I'm editing videos. Then I'm over here doing this. Then I'm over here doing that. You know, I, I, I just love it, man. I love it. I love it being creative, man. I love being my own boss, my own man. You know? It just feel good to be free, man. You know? You know? There's nothing like it, man. I've been searching for this a long time, man. I, I worked it hard for this too though, y'all. Don't don't get it fucked up. But I'm gonna take full advantage of this man. Y'all should see all the new equipment I bought. I'm turning this little this little lab I got right here. Turning this to straight to the workshop. Workshop and print shop. All in one. This is gonna be the first vault. Everything, a lot will be done in there. So we renovating. You know what I mean? And this is where we're streaming from right now. Streaming from live from the ball, baby. Okay. Check the location. Philly. Fault. That thing is a location. You hear me? You can pull that up. Yo, man. I love this shit. Big Bank Records coming soon as well, man. I got some things in the making. I got the relaunch of uh, uh, VB Apparel and Slime Apparel. So uh, make sure y'all go follow that on IG. Y'all can like the pages on Facebook as well. They are definitely active. Um, we yeah, we're just gonna keep everything going strong, man. Keep everything going strong, man. I'm just I'm just on the gas with full throttle, and um, uh, I'm going to do my thing, man, and, uh, you know, I'm going to get in my way because I ain't going to get in nobody else's way, man, and that's, and that's that, man. As far as these, 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 these niggas and these, and these females, man, straight up, you know. I tell them keep their distance, man. They all full of shit, man. Niggas and chicks. They all full of shit. Nah. But it's all good, though, because I do better without them anyway, man. You feel the dignity? As long as I got this fucking money. As long as I got this money. I don't care. Like her both said. And I mean that shit. You feel me? 
I don't care. My man keeps supplying me with this good green. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They got me ready to make moose shit for y'all again. <laughs> Real rap. Real rap. Keep it up. Keep it up. Who y'all like? Who y'all like on the uh, the basketball uh, championship? Who y'all think gonna win between what is it, Denver and Boston? Let me know in the comments, man. Who who, who y'all want to see win, Denver or Boston? Put it in the comments who you want to see win. Denver or Boston. Check it out, young world. Check it out. We're in here trying to get married and all that and all that. All right. Let me know in the comments. And who can't see themselves getting married. Let us know also in the comments. Come on, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Is y'all hitting that like button, man? Let me see how many likes I got. Y'all ain't hitting that like button. And y'all ain't hitting that share button, gang. What's going on, gang? What's up? What's up? What y'all got? What, 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 what? Wax in y'all head, man? Y'all can't hear me. But I ain't speaking loud enough. Huh? Huh? I ain't speaking loud enough. Huh? You already know. Yo, man, free my cousin D.H., free my cousin Jizz, man. Rest in peace to all the, uh, rest in peace to all the guys, man. Brick and Ned, Bob, Tonio, um. Toe Del Rio. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard list right there, man. No, that's a hard list, man. Damn. Yeah, my fucking baby boy brick on there. Really. Fuck. I ask God all the time why he ain't take my cousin all the way. Maybe in due time. Yeah, let me know. In due time. In due time, until then, man, I'm gonna keep on, keep on moving. Shake that, shake that, shake that, shake that, baby. Yeah, shake that, shake that. And y'all see that? Y'all see that in the background? PMB gang, PMB. You already know, WB, VB. You already know, bonds by the bank. From Germantown. It's all the gainy gang. 
You already know, young V. My name rang, 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 rang. I love y'all, man. It's been an hour in, man. Live from the vault, episode 59. If I shine, you shine. Stop the violence, y'all. If you're a hot artist, get with us, man. Big Bank Records, man. Come holler at us, man. Come get some motion, man. And we're going to get these things coasting for you. Till then. To pilots.